transition into a trendy line of hair care products reveals concerns about the company's manufacturing plants. Well, Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears first exposed consumer complaints about Monate Hair Care back in March. Now tonight, well, she's got the results of an FDA inspection, and Darcy explains why the agency says Monate's products could be contaminated. As consumer complaints about hair loss and scalp sores were piling up across the country, the FDA sent inspectors to the Florida facility where Monet products are made, and a federal report shows inspectors found unsanitary conditions. Monet claims its ingredients and products are safe. They point to new testing they paid for, showing their products are non-irritating, hypoallergenic, and dermatologically safe on all skin types. But 10 lawsuits and about 300 adverse event reports filed with the FDA say otherwise. I literally had almost a baseball size of hair in my hand. She's lost, I would say, three quarters of it. Her hair is breaking off. I found massive clumps of hair that were concerning in her crib. It was supposed to strengthen your hair. It was an expense product, and I thought it would help my hair. Um, but instead, I'm devastated with what my hair looks like right now. We introduced you to these women and their concerns back in March. They're among a long list of consumers who say Monate products ruined their hair. Monate's line is sold mostly on social media through multi-level marketing. The products are advertised to promote hair stability and growth, but multiple lawsuits from San Diego, Indianapolis, Oklahoma City, Phoenix, Las Vegas, and more say customers have experienced significant hair loss or thinning and other complications such as itching, scalp irritation, sores, and cystic acne after using Monate products. I can't do it. I cannot sell something that does this to women, men, children. It was extremely hard to deal with. Las Vegan Erin Ostby used to sell Monate as one of its market partners. She stopped after losing her own hair. My dad used to always say I was like um, Samson from the Bible. I got my power from my hair. So it was, it was really upsetting and I couldn't do that to someone else. In March, the FDA sent inspectors to B&R Products, Monate's Miami area manufacturing plant. Several months later, the FDA released this report, which found Monate Cosmetics being prepared, packed, or held under insanitary conditions, whereby it may have become contaminated with filth. The report notes multiple products were at risk of cross-contamination due to open reactor lids and missing protective caps on hoses used to pump product. A reactor ready to process a new batch of hair care products still had old product residue even after being cleaned multiple times by facility staff, and empty containers of rejuva beads were left uncovered and exposed in the filling line after employees finished their workday. In March, before the FDA's report was released, Monate co-founder Luis Erdineta posted on Facebook Live about the inspection. And the report that we have this morning from them, that they are leaving the office now is that everything is fine. It uh, uh, warranties that we are doing the things as the things need to be done. An FDA legal expert we spoke to says this report falls on the mild side of the enforcement spectrum and contains some fairly common issues, but does note some minor violations of the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. Monate says the FDA's report contains nothing of significant concern. A spokesperson claims it's like the manufacturing facility getting an A grade or maybe an A minus, but the FDA says it would never assign a grade. The FDA